In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to determine the acceleration from a D versus T graph. To begin, please pause the video and copy down these five set of instructions. We will use these instructions to determine the acceleration from the graph. So let's use this graph as an example. Here we have distance versus time. We see that the object uh, is accelerating. We know that is because there's a curve here and the slope of this line is increasing. So that tells us that the object must be speeding up. So for us to determine the acceleration, what I must do is I must identify two points on this curve and determine the instantaneous speed at those points. So let me identify the points first of all. Let's do, um, let's identify the first point at here, four seconds. I'll circle that. And that is at four seconds. Now the next point, uh, I'm going to do further along the line. And let's pick this one right here. I'm using different colors to help you tell the difference. And that looks like it falls at this point right here, which is in between 6 and 8. That is 7. So this is 7 seconds right there. So the acceleration of the object will be between 4 seconds and 7 seconds. That's the range I'm going to be working with. Now the acceleration, since this is a smooth curve, the acceleration is the same anywhere along this curve but I'm choosing to do my measurements between four and seven seconds. So now that I've identified my first point right here, I need to draw a tangent line that passes through that point. So I line this up. That looks about right. And I draw a nice straight line using a ruler. Okay, you want to make the line reasonably long and on this line, what I need to do on the green line is I need to identify two points which are far from one another, or reasonably far. I see that this intersects this spot right there, so that's going to be one point. And I see that we have an intersection right there, so that'll be my next point. So this data point right here is 2 on the x-axis and 0 on the y. And this point right here is... Uh, 8 on the x-axis and it looks like it's 100 on the y-axis. So those are my two data points 2, 0 and 8, 100. So now I'm going to determine the slope of the line. The slope of the line will give me the instantaneous speed that occurs at 4 seconds. What is the speed at 4 seconds? It's the slope of this line. So I'm going to write down, I'm going to call this the green line, okay, and I'm going to determine the, oops, there you go, you can see that better. So I'm going to call this the green line, and I'm going to determine the rise over the run, and my rise, well, I go uh, 100 minus 0, that would be my rise, I go from 0 to 100, and uh, uh, over the run, which is 8 minus 2, or I'm moving from 2 all the way to 8 seconds. So 8 minus 2. And that it works out to 100 divided by 6, which is 17 meters per second. Okay, so let me help you interpret this. Um, at 4 seconds, the speed is 17 meters per second. How did I get that? I determined the, the slope of the line that passes through the four, point four second mark. Okay, so now let's determine the speed at seven seconds. So let me change uh, color pens, and I'm gonna draw a tangent through this point at seven seconds. So let's line that up like that. As you can see, there's an advantage of using colored pencils or colored pens. You can tell the difference between the lines. 
we see the red line is steeper than the green, so I expect that I'm going to calculate a larger speed. This one, the green, is 17 meters per second, so the red should end up being a larger number. So like we did before, let's identify points along this line. Here's one that we can pick here. That's an easy one. Uh, so that'll be 4, um, 10, right? This would be 10, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 10. And let's pick, let's pick this one here. This is easy. And that is going to be uh, 10, 180. Good. So those are my data pairs. So now let's calculate the red line, slope of the red line. And that'll be rise over run. So my rise, um, 100, we rise up to 180 and we begin at 10. So that'll be 180 minus 10. And my run, I begin at 4. And I end up at 10, 4 to 10, so that'll be 10 minus 4. So this will be 170 divided by 6, and that's equal to 28 meters per second. Oh, my pen's running out, so switch colors. Okay, so right there, 28 meters per second. Good. So... Like I said before, we expect that the speed would go up. That's what this graph shows, increasing speed. So at 4 seconds, we were going at, 20, at 17 meters per second. So this is at 4 seconds. And at 7 seconds, we're going 28 meters per second. So if I want to know what the acceleration is, I know the acceleration is going to be equal to the difference between these two divided by the difference in time. So the acceleration is going to be equal to 28 minus 17 divided by uh, 7 minus 4. And that's going to be equal to approximately 4 meters per second squared. Okay, so that's the acceleration. Acceleration, I'll go from 17 to 28 in 3 seconds, and that works out to 4 meters per second squared.